sleeping, bro. Wake up. Wake up. Can I hear this shit? Go get it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Look, y'all, when I put this in chat, this ain't for y'all. You need me to turn it up? I'm gonna be honest, yesterday. Let me know let me know if you need to turn oh you talking about low key to what Vink said. I'm putting this in the chat so I can pin it. Uh I ain't putting it in the chat for y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I wanna see what I wanna see this shit. I know, bro. I mean, last, oh yeah, I went to dinner. I remember. Yeah. And then after, remember what you did? What did I do? When I was sleeping, you came up and touched my ass. Yo, this oh. nigga's so on God, this nigga's lying. I feel like I feel a grab, and it's not a normal grab. No, he grab. definitely did it because no. he just grabbed mine. No, I did it not. It wasn't a normal ass cheek grab. I felt his fingers go up my ass. Grab. Really, really. It's you shit, just like sitting there. Yeah, this nigga, this nigga is fucking. Bro. Motherfuckers be like. Word is. Word is born. We don't want to watch this shit. I'm sorry. Okay, come on. You're, you're 18. We want to watch this shit. I ain't watching nothing, gang. Uh, talking about my phone. I'm trying to get these topics in order so I can hit. I'm trying to hit. I, this is my first stream back at the crib. So I'm trying to hit all my P's and Q's so I can have these motherfucking clips. To post them everywhere and get back in motion. I had some motion on motherfucking uh on TikTok. I was having motion for a good little bit and I had to stop because I went to Alaska for a bit. But shit, now I'm back. I gotta get back in motion, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna I don't wanna react to nobody else. Let's see. So someone infiltrated the DreamCon convention there and started talking shit about everything it stands for. You know, I'm actually surprised at Watson Hasanabi because he's known as a political YouTuber slash streamer and has that quote unquote Sigma stance when it comes to his branding. So if it was him, I'd be like, yeah, that's a sign. I expect it. But the only thing Hassan went and did was outscore Silky, which is also surprising. I mean, if you were there, you probably saw a lot of surprises. The free. I'm going to be there. Next dream con, I'm gone. Me and my old lady gone. And we're going to have the time of our lives. So be prepared. The after party, the dope cosplays, and the pure brain rock fuck. And we dressing up. I don't care. You see this Sasuke fit? This Sasuke fit is tough. It's tough. Hey, man. If that's what they call it, I got to be there. I got to be there. I'm just going to have to live by the consequences doing brain rot shit overall a good experience in my book just make sure you wear more deodorant next year but anyways damn y'all ain't wearing deodorant somebody came to dreamcon and disrespected anime gaming cosplayers everything pretty much all the nerdy shit there in one fell swoop all whilst embarrassing himself saying look chat we're gonna turn this into a youtube video so y'all get ready for me to get into youtube mode i ain't gonna lie to you in his own words where the hoes at <laughs> Damn. If you don't know what I'm talking about or who this person is, a streamer by the name of Yusef who is majorly known for his fat ass for it. Hey, Vinx, I need you to get in the clip mode. Hey, exclamation mark clip. I need you to get me right, guy. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, rivaling Agent Double Zero or his connection to the game is game guy. You too, Fargo. Am I tweaking or did that say he searched up with Diddy? What the fuck? Anyways, he went to DreamCon, a Diddy convention Con. about anime and gaming, and said this. I want to genuinely know who's, like, buying this shit, though. Like, who's... Okay, y'all know niggas that's stepping out in Kid Boo flags and t-shirts and shit? Sit on that. Sit on that. Sit on that right there. Sit on what he just said. I hope he... I hope he dig into every piece. Sit on that right there, though. We ain't gonna get it... We, didn't, we ain't gonna get on his ass yet. No, Diddy. We ain't gonna get on him yet. But, hey, sit on that. And, like... Anime titty t-shirts and stuff like this shit don't make sense to me bro. Pussy you went to a fucking dream con you went to dream con bitch Are you doing this for the for the likes the clicks the views? I hate niggas like this bitch niggas like this could never be popular when I was in high school 
Now they want to goddamn get into some shit. These niggas is hoes. You give a nigga a camera, they will swear to God to you that they the next future. Bro, I don't get it. All right, who are you? Like, who you dressed up as? All right, word. Looks good, though. I fuck with it. <laughs> and as you know... Like, bro, why bother niggas? Like, stay home, bitch. You obviously ain't got no hoes. Because if you had hoes, you would have stayed home and been with the hoes. But you decided to leave your house and go bother other niggas while they feeling comfortable. That's not gangster. Because I don't know what you classify yourself as. It can't be gangster. It can't be nerdy. You can't feel comfortable in this setting because you're making fun of people that actually feel comfortable in this setting. So what you know what you should classify yourself as? A bitch. Period. Oh, that hit the target audience hard on the head. One thing that you cannot do to the anime and gaming community is talk shit about them because gamers, they get a little volatile with it and anime people love debating. So when you clash both of those and you talk your shit, guy. add a little black to the mix, it does not help anybody in the in a sense. And you know where this all hit its head is on Twitter. Of course. Of course. It's all going to go to hell every time. Of course it all hit its head on Twitter. Where else would it hit its head? And that led somebody named Soul King to say, in less than 10 minutes, Bull was on some weird shit. Disrespecting the people makes dreams. Relax. Dev tried to play my folks, Jay, and I don't like that. Upasan chimed in and said, damn, I didn't know roaches could talk. So you could see that people were pretty pissed off. And the list of cosplayers, creators, and people who are just in the anime scene, like just voice actors and everybody like that, I have a- All right, chat, I'm finna skip through this shit to see what we really get, see what he's saying in the bit. Said, Dude, you know what I want? Fuck the basketball, fuck the anime. I want to see some bad bitches, bro. Where the bad hoes at, bro? Really? Bro, I haven't seen any, bro. It, it kind of... Look at this, look at this. Before we even say anything about the young boy, because I know he's younger than me, because his brain ain't fully developed. Let's look at his face when he say what he say. Let's look at his face. Let's look at his face when he say what he say. You know what I... Hold on. Let me make sure my shit on. Why my shit looking blurry? I don't like that. I ain't gonna lie. I wanna fuck the basketball. I don't like that. I don't like why my shit ain't looking good. Oh fuck the anime. I wanna see some. Look at his face. Look at his face. You see his face? Do that look like a nigga who actually meant what he said? Look at that. Look at his neck. Look at the torque of his neck. If you get bitches on a consistent basis, you not you not doing this. If you get bitches on a consistent basis, you know not this ain't a question that's supposed to be asked here. If you fumble into something, that's that's God giving. That's God blessing. But to do this, this boy's a bitch. What a bad hoes at from a nigga that's not even going to... Literally! That's, that's the number one type of nigga I hate in my group. When you, when you got a group of friends, you're supposed to know your group of friends. You're supposed to know who's the fire starter. That's the nigga that's going to go and talk to any group of bitches first and bring y'all with them. Then you got your playmaker. Your playmaker is the nigga that could get bitches, but he ain't a fire starter. Then you got your role player. He don't necessarily, he's not in his prime with getting bitches, but he can if he's in the right situation. You got to get him right. And he going to make the buckets. You just got to make sure he's sitting in that corner. He the nigga on 2K where he's sitting in the corner ready for the trade ball at all times. That's his role. Be ready for this trade ball because I'm, I'm dishing it out. It may be behind the back. I may throw it off the elbow. I may give you some dumb shit. Crazy, and you gotta catch it one hand. Then take the take the J. Regardless, when I get it to you, take the J. This nigga don't qualify as none of it to me. If I'm wrong, tell me. If I'm wrong, tell me. Really? Bro, I haven't seen any, bro. Nigga, tell me I ain't seen any. This nigga a bitch. Do certain shit like this, man. It it paints a bad picture, and people are already relating him to Neon. And if you know who Neon is. You know who Neon is. I'm not even gonna dip into that bag. 
My fault. He's nowhere near Neon, but the fact that people are making that connection and correlation is it, bad looks for Yusuf. Although, if you are in the anime community and you are an anime creator or you're just like, yeah, in the anime community, you knew that it was going to be backlash no matter what he said after the fact because he said this. That just added more fuel to the fire. He was getting dragged so, so bad, Damn. he had to make a statement or more so an apology. I literally didn't mean that, man. Like, all jokes aside. Why are you lying? The Dreamcom message and all. Why are you lying? I'm just not really in tune with the world. Like, this world, I did not. That's why I, that's the number one thing I hate. I don't even want to hear the nigga apology. If you gonna say some shit, stand 10 toes on it. Like, right now, I'm calling him a bitch. If he hit me up and be like, why you call me a bitch? I'm not backpedaling. Cuz, you did bitch shit. Bitch tendencies. I don't know you for nothing else. So what else I'm going to classify you as? That's just how it go, G. Stop. No. Don't backpedal to save your fat. Nah. -uh. Live with the face you painted. Leave that. When you paint some shit on the canvas, don't it got to stay? Literally, bro, just don't go. Just don't go. Don't go. I know why he wanted to do it. He knew what he wanted to do. He went there with a mission. He wanted to do this. This was his main thing. He knew he was gonna get clicks off of this. And I want to. I want the nigga to. If I said what I wanted the nigga to do, I'd never be able to stream again. Y'all, if you know me personally, you know how diabolical I am. But this nigga, come on, man. Take the oxygen from that nigga. I want every piece of oxygen that nigga breathed to have something else in it. Put another element in that bitch so it just don't work right. You feel me? Just so it don't work right. Get this nigga on somewhere. I hate niggas like this. Nah, I, mean to come off this I ain't lying. Anyway, at all. Yes, so, you I mean, did. People respect everyone, bro. I'm very sorry. Genuinely. Bro, I shut up. To come across that way. If that came off across as disrespectful, I genuinely apologize. Like, that ass. All right, we're good. I'm sorry. Like, actually, bro. Now that you see how he said, all right, we're good. No, you. I know that script. That All that script. You don't mean any of that, G. Come on. Said and done, though, I feel like it all can be summed up by saying Yusuf came into somebody's house, took a shit on the floors, and then saw how bad the situation was and said, ooh, my fault. I didn't mean to do that. And then he left. He did. And he did. I can see why everybody is certainly pissed off. But as a person who has been a streamer, a person who's in the anime community, I can see both sides of the coin. As a streamer, I know that clip farming and everything like brain rot like i said it, the whole convention was filled with brain rots people people spamming that somebody smell like shit shit I, it, it was everywhere so as a streamer who is a popular streamer i'm not a popular streamer but in his shoes he probably was just trying to entertain his fans entertain the people that watch him entertain the people that okay cool if you're doing that but don't do it at the cost of somebody else G. Like you, you know that that's if you're doing that that's cool that's cool. Entertain your people. Make your money. Make your content. But don't do it at the... If you got to do it at the expense of somebody else, it don't make sense. And that may not make sense by me saying this, because now I'm doing this at the expense of him. But I feel like he deserves it. Because you put yourself in this situation. It will be different if I, if I was doing this on somebody genuinely being themselves. No, he went out his way to do this to people who felt... I don't like it when... I I honestly don't like it when uh I've always been that guy whether it was school, work, anywhere. I've been that guy that everybody could feel comfortable around. I'm never going if I make fun of you, I'm going to make fun of you in the places where you know it's love. Like I'm never going to take it to the point where you be like, "Oh damn, this nigga really shooting a gun at my forehead." I'm never going to take it there. I only make fun of you to show you I love you that much. Like, hey, I fuck with you. This is my way of showing love. But I, I, this, hell nah. That ain't, that ain't how it go. That's not, that's not tough. It'll never be tough. And that shit shouldn't make a nigga famous. Niggas like this, they, they should be the niggas having one, two viewers a stream. I ain't going to lie. Them niggas should never have nobody in their streams, but these young ass niggas gonna eat this shit up because they ain't learnt shit yet. I'm so sick of lame niggas being famous, G. I wish God could pull every lame nigga card and just be like, yeah, your time up for real. 
Your time up. Good. Get the fuck on. That's how I really feel. We're going to keep going, though. We got two minutes left. Well, he, he's going to do that. He's a streamer. But as an anime fan and an anime creator and somebody who would go to DreamCon if they had the money necessary to them, you can't go there and say, who likes this bullshit? And you're surrounded by people who like this bullshit. And you are going to the convention. I like him because he explained it in a way that's way less vulgar and, uh, what's the best way to say it? Uh, way less vulgar and way less, like, way more professional than what I'm saying. But I'm going to give it to you how I want to. <laughs> with creators who built the the ground from the ground up they they built their foundation off people who like that jamie you're 100 percent right uh jamie said kevin hart said talent ain't even about being uh talent or being entertaining ain't even a requirement of being famous no more all you gotta do is have one video have one vi and it ain't even gotta be you you could even just be the nigga that recorded and now you famous but that's the good thing, because once you do that, most niggas ain't got no follow-up. So that get rid of half. I call it natural selection. Most niggas ain't got no follow-up. For everything I put into my digital footprint, I'm going to always have a follow-up. I may have not done everything the way it was supposed to go, whether it's this or my clothesline, yada, yada. But I'm going to always give you a follow-up. I always got something else in the bag or something else I haven't even found out that I'm good at yet. And you're going to be like, damn, that nigga did it again. And I'm, I'm going to keep ringing it. And it's never going to be these vibes. Bullshit. And you're just like half of the people who fought. It's the young niggas' fault, Jamie. It's the young niggas' fault. All of this, they talk about, oh, the young niggas having switches and drinks and y'all this and that and that. But they don't talk about the nigga, like... That's negative too, but the less negative things like let niggas like this be famous. Let rappers like fucking I don't know, fucking anybody, any rapper be famous. Any rapper like you fucking up rappers like what's a rapper I love? Pee Wee Longway. He would have way more success than any of these niggas that's here now. Because he was actually rap these niggas now, nah, they just get on the beat, say some dumb shit, get off, post a TikTok. And if it go with your video that you made that day, not that nigga famous for rapping. Welcome to 2024. Follow you are people who like that bullshit. So you can't say, oh, who would wear this? Who would do this? That cosplayer back there, what the fuck was that? Uh, you know, where the fine bitches at? And if you've ever been a dream gun gang. Bro, the hot tour shit. Like, cool. You had a viral clip. Just take the followers and be done. Don't start taking bookings from clubs. And I understand you want to chase chicken. But now nah, it's just false advertisement. Because what are you... Are you going to... If you took that and made a fucking career out of hoeing, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. If you took that and made a, a career... On the corners, on the street corners, I'm proud of you. That's what you're supposed to do. Because that's what you led on. But if you're trying to be, man, hell no. Nah. I don't know where you was looking because they was everywhere. <laughs> See us 30 bands? 30 bands to do what? If she ain't sucking the dick for 30 bands, it don't make sense. That's all she was talking about in the video. It don't make sense. <laughs> I've been a dream card. It was five bitches everywhere. Anyways, that's besides the point. Am I tweaking? Tell me if I'm tweaking. If I'm tweaking, let me know. You can't go and take a shit on somebody's property and expect them not to be mad at them taking a shit on their property. Despite what the title says, though, I don't think Yusuf should be canceled. And I definitely don't think he's anywhere near. This is a very nice guy. I'm not going to lie. Here. Neon's level or that other guy. I'm not gonna say the other guy's name to give them the power, but you know, they know he's nowhere near their levels. He just said something annoying. So in retaliation, what we should do is just slap his forehead a couple more times and, and just make more forehead jokes about him and then move on. Cause that's, it's it's no big deal. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, that like button and hit the little bell just from some extra love. And other than that, I have nothing to say, but how do you feel about the situation? Do you feel like he's Man. This shit ain't even gangster no more, man.